My beautiful wife is tending my wounds. Now this is a scary situation. My wife with a knife. Do not cut towards me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Cut away from the body. <laughs> the leg's not that bad, but then when she stabs me, it's gonna be real horrible. Man, I'm like a surgeon. <laughs> yeah, right. She thinks I need stitches. I, I don't think so. I it's, it's a little deep. Men don't need stitches. We were thinking about the prospect of getting something to eat here, but everything's at least double in price because we're at the beach. So we'll probably just check the beach out a little bit and then go find some food along the way back to another beach. Yeah, you know, I've been craving street food so bad. <laughs> Where we are at is almost kind of another food desert and everything is very, very much catered to the tourists. Most meals are about 250 to 350 baht. Uh, which is about $10, so that's pretty expensive for Thailand. So we have mostly just been eating at a 7-Eleven, so it's gonna be really nice to actually go to a restaurant. We found a restaurant that looks delicious, and I could not say no to some watermelon. I have been craving some watermelon for several days now. We just got some Pad Thai, and the funny thing about Pad Thai is we've gotten it at least eight different places, and it looks different and tastes different in all eight different places we've gotten it. You don't like it? No, I don't. Oh. I don't know what that is. Amanda's upset. We it's have like, been eating. No, it's like they put ketchup and they put it in noodles. And some, the noodles some restaurants put ketchup in pad thai. But it just tastes weird. I know. That's a nice first time. <sighs> this is very upsetting because like we have meal. been eating. Yeah, this is our first meal in Phuket. Our meal in Phuket. It tastes bad. Non. It doesn't Fast. taste authentic at all. I don't know what the hell this is. I'm pissed off because it's expensive. This is our first non 7 Eleven meal since we've been in Phuket. We have had a lot of Thai food in Thailand. This was not good. Overpriced, under seasoned, underwhelming. Ugh. Our recommendation before coming to the west side where all the beaches are is get something to eat first. Around all the beaches it's going to be extremely expensive and at least the watermelon was good. That was a plus. We are now going to go check out the beach. This is Nyharn Beach, probably saying it wrong, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I've heard that there's not very many or there's not that high of waves in Thailand. But these breaks are actually pretty big. Amanda's not a good swimmer, so we're probably not gonna swim here. There's another beach close by that looked from the road to be a little easier. So we'll probably hit that up. is absolutely beautiful we are definitely gonna have to come back here before we leave maybe with a fully charged drone that would be a good idea one really cool thing about our Airbnb is that some people have left some snorkel gear in there so I'm thinking about grabbing those next time we go to the beach and just kind of like bring it to the beach and see what happens yeah I don't know if there's any flippers I'll have to look but there's definitely a, a scuba mask and a two pose breath Thingy. Being in Railway Beach was a really great decision. I read, I usually will read all the Airbnb comments, but I, I kept reading about this particular Airbnb and I knew it came with a scooter. And a lot of people raved about how you can drive around to several different beaches right in the, right in the radius of our Airbnb. So um, I'm really glad that we chose it, even though we are really, really remote. Yeah, the, driving to the peak, I thought it was gonna 
feel a little bit longer of a drive, but I actually passed it because I didn't think that it was possible that we had arrived yet. And so I just had to turn around. It's super close distance to our Airbnb, which is very nice. But now I think we're going to head off to the other beach and check that out and maybe do some swimming. at Yanui Beach. This place is really nice because it's less crowded and I think I can manage swimming here. There's also a really beautiful lookout rock right here. A lot of people are, you can climb on it and take great pictures. So this place is really, more, it's way more quiet and I, I like it better. It's definitely a smaller beach. It almost seems more like a secret beach or just a secluded beach. It's very beautiful, it's very small. And like Amanda said, we've got that really cool lookout rock that we're probably gonna go out on too. Perfect shot. Cut up my leg pretty bad trying to get some really good transition shots, but we swam a bit. Water is beautiful here at this beach, and we're gonna head back home. So the last couple days, our air conditioner has been pouring water out of it. Most of my clothes got soaked overnight, and I didn't even notice when it first happened. The ground has been just a puddle. We called up the Airbnb host. They sent out some guys. They've been working on this for like four hours. Uh, that's about how long we've been out and about. So I'm glad that it's getting fixed, but I don't know how much longer it's gonna take. Yeah, it's gonna get dark pretty soon. It's gonna get dark pretty soon. Yeah, that'll be unsafe. They're out on ladders and stuff. But Amanda's gonna clean up my leg. I think we might jump in the pool, get all the salt off of us. Well, that's gonna do it for us, guys. You guys have a good one. See you around the world. Bye bye. Very, very bad with Reebok. Oh. Uh, the peace and quiet and serenity. Uh, the peace and quiet and serenities. Uh, peace and quiet and serenity of Airbnbs. It's a magical place just to sit back and relax. Mm -hmm.